McGrew, McGrew, sorry. Uh, how do you answer the environmentalists who claim the 97% of scientists? And I don't, and he says, I don't know if they mean all scientists or specifically climatologists believe in man caused global warming and its future disastrous impact. So what do you, what do you say to them when they say that? So I think you have to separate a few things here. Uh, one is that's a bogus statistic, right? It's not 97%. There is no such thing. Um, so you have to say something like quickly say something like, well, you know, that 97% thing that you've read about, that's, that's bogus. That's, that's not real. But it's true that a, a large percentage, uh, probably a majority, probably an overwhelming majority of scientists who are willing to state an opinion um, believe in uh, man-made cause global alarm. And then, then you have to say something about science is not about a vote. Science is not a democracy. It's not about a majority. Um, and then I think you have to say, because at this point they're thinking, oh God, he's some kind of, he's, he denies climate change and he's rejecting science or whatever. So there's a danger there. So then what you have to do is say, I mean, this is what I do. I, I, Alex Epstein does it differently. What I do is then I say, I don't have a position on whether the globe is warming or not. And I don't even really have a position about whether it's man-made or not. Because I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue is, even if it is warming, even if it is man-made, what do you do about it? And even if it is warming, even if it is man-made, why do you care? Why is the world getting warmer upset you so much? Why are you getting so excited about, um, you know, a few more degrees of heat? I actually like the idea of, I, you know, I use the Canada becomes habitable, funny line, which people respond to positively because everybody thinks Canada, except Canadians thinks Canada and people who live like in Maine and Minnesota uh, think Canada is uninhabitable. So I guess Jennifer actually thinks Canada is habitable because she lives in, in Michigan and up, you know, in the cold, really freezing part of Michigan. Um, and then you get into discussion about what are, what are the proposals about dealing with climate change and how those are nuts and how those are ridiculous and how those are incredibly damaging and how those proposals reveal how, in a sense, unserious the people who claim that climate change is an issue are. That is, the proposals are worse, the proposed solutions are worse than any imaginable problem. And I also throw in a, you know, I throw in a line that goes something like, you know, I'm a finance guy, and if you want me to invest in your, in your fund, then one of the first things I ask you is, how have you done in the past? And if you say, well, really badly, then, you know, forget it. You know, past performance is no necessarily indicator of future performance, but it certainly is an, in, you know, it certainly is a starting point, right? If, you, if all your performance in the past is to be negative, I, I'm not interested in listening to the pitch. Reversion to the mean, come on, your own. Yeah, right. Everything just reverts the mean automatically. So the same goes with scaremongering. If you're telling me the world is going to end tomorrow, I want to know how good you have been in your scaremongering predictions in the past. So if you were the same people who predicted that uh, overpopulation and mass starvation, if you were the same people who predicted everybody would have cancer because of chemicals, if you were the same people who predicted that global cooling would happen. If you're the same people who predicted, you know, just any, what was it, the ozone hole or a million other things would end life on planet Earth as we know it, then I'm not, I can't take you that seriously. I just can't. Um, and then, but, but I think the main issue is the solution, right? And, and the solution can't be not to use fossil fuels. And, and that solution is revealing of the true motivation, of the true insanity of, of the position and everything else that's going on. So um, that's how I deal with it kind of quickly. Of course, if you wanted to deal with it in a more fundamental sense, 
you'd have to get into the science. And I say, look, I'm not a scientist. I don't have a strong position about whether there's global warming or not and about whether it's man-made or not. I, and and that's, that's a fact. I don't have a strong position about it. Again, I'm suspicious of those claiming there is. But that's not enough for me to say there's no such thing. I, I haven't looked at the data closely enough. I haven't examined the evidence closely enough. Uh, my suspicion is that there is global warming. My suspicion is man-made factors probably play a small role in that, glo- in that warming. And my strong suspicion is that that warming is not going to be catastrophic.